I'm not intelligent. I'm not arrogant. I'm just like the people who read my books. I used to have a jazz club, and I made the cocktails and I made the sandwiches. I didn't want to become a writer. It just happened. It's a kind of gift, you know, from the heavens. So I think I should have been very humble. Murakami was born in 1949 in Kyoto, Japan's ancient capital, to a middle-class family with a vested interest in the national culture. His father was the son of a Buddhist priest who met Murakami's mother while both were teachers of Japanese literature. When he was two, his father moved to Kobe, and it was this bustling port city with its steady stream of foreigners, especially American sailors, that most clearly shaped his sensibility. Rejecting Japanese literature, art and music at an early age, Murakami came to identify more and more closely with the world outside Japan, a world he knew only through jazz records, Hollywood movies and dime store paperbacks. He grew up reading a wide range of works by European and American writers such as Franz Kafka, Gustav Flaubert, Charles Dickens, Kurt Vonnegut, Fyodor Dostoevsky, Richard Brautigan and Jake Kuryak. As a student in Tokyo, he studied drama at Waseda University in the late 60s. There he met his wife, Yoko Takahashi. He married at 23. His first job was at a record store, much like Toru Watanabe, the narrator of Norwegian Wood. Shortly before finishing his study, Murakami opened a coffee house and jazz bar. The Peter Cat in Kokubuchi, Tokyo, which he ran with his wife from 1974. Murakami began to write fiction when he was 29. Quote, Before that, he said, I didn't write anything. I was just one of those ordinary people. I was running a jazz club and I didn't create anything at all. He was inspired to write his first novel, Case no Uta Okike, he the wink sing while watching a baseball game. In 1978, Rokim was in Jingu Stadium watching a game between the Yakult Swallows and the Hiroshima Car when Dave Hilton, an American, came to bed. According to an unoften repeat story, in the instant that Hilton hit a double, Rokami suddenly realized that he could write a novel. He started writing at the kitchen table after midnight, quotes from the interview. How about your wife? Well, I showed the first manuscript of my first novel, but she claims she never read it. So she got no impression at all. She wasn't impressed? No. But that was the first draft and it was terrible. I rewrote and wrote. It took 10 months to finish that first book. In very brief stretches, after walking dead at the bar, he completed the novel and sent it to the only literature contest that would accept a work of that length, won a prize for best fiction by a new writer. From the start his writing was characterized by images and events that the author himself found difficult to explain. Murakami's initial success with Hear and the Wing Sing encouraged him to continue writing. They sell the chess club. He switched to a regimen of early rising and physical exercise, including marathon running, which continues to this day. About the same time, he also began a parallel career as a translator of American literature into Japanese language. A year later, he published a sequel, Pinball, 1973. In 1982, he published A Will Ship Chase, a critical success. Hear the Wing Sing, Pinball, 1973, and Wild Ship Chase formed the trilogy of the rat. Murakami considered his first two novels to be immature and clumsy, and has not been eager to have them translated into English. A Wild Ship Chase, he says, was the first book where I could feel a kind of sensation, the joy of telling a story. When you read a good story, you just keep reading. When I write a good story, I just keep writing. In 1985, Murakami wrote Hard Boiled Wonderland and The End of the World. 
a dreamlike fantasy that took the magical elements of his work to a new extreme. Murkham's life as a relatively anonymous writer with a small but respectable readership changed with the unexpected success of Norway in Wool in 1987, written from self-imposed exile in Europe. Murkham began the novel as an experiment to see if he could write a straight, simple, rather sentiment story. To his surprise, the novel sold over 2 million copies in Japan alone. Murakami traveled through Europe and eventually settled in the United States. Murakami was a writer, fellow at Princeton University, Harvard, Tours University in Medford, Massachusetts. I stayed in the States from 1991 to 1995, he recalls, and during that time the bubble economy burst. We had our own recession. When I got back to Japan, the earthquake and the poison gas attack had happened. Everything had changed. I found myself looking for something to do for my country, for my readers. The Windbird Chronicle, 1995, is a novel that fuses the realistic and fantastic and contains element of physical violence, it is also more socially conscious than his previous work. Dealing in part with the difficult topic of war crimes in Manchukuo, Northeast China, the novel won the Genuine Prize, awarded by all of his harshest former critics. Kenzaburu Oye, winner of the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1994. The processing of collection drama soon became an important theme in Murakami writing, which had previously been more personal in nature. He came to terms with these events with his first work of non-fiction, Underground, and the short story collection After the Quake. Underground consists largely of interviews of victims of the glass attack in Tokyo subway system. Murakami himself mentioned that he changed his position from one of the detachment to one of the commitment after staying in the USA. On 23 June 1996, he completed his first ultramarathon, a 100 km race around Lake Saroma in Hokkaido. He discussed his relationship with running in his 2008 memoir What I Talk about when I talk about running. Shin Shosha published, published Murakami's novel 1Q84 in Japan on May 2009. 1Q84 is pronounced as Ichikuo Hachiwon, the same as 1984, as 8 is also pronounced as Q in Japanese. The book was long listed for the men as a literature prize in 2011. However, after the anti-Japanese demonstration in China in 2012, Murakami's books were removed from sale there, along with those of other Japanese authors. Quotes from the interview. What was the first book you read in English? The name is Archer by Ross MacDonald. I learned a lot of things from those books. Once I started, I couldn't stop. At the same time, I also love to read Tolstoy and Dostoevsky. Those books are also page turners. They are very long. But I couldn't stop reading. So for me, it's the same thing. Dostoevsky and Raymond Chandler. Even now, my ideal for writing fiction is to put Dostoevsky and Chandler together in one book. That's my goal. Ozawa, longtime friend, said. I have lots of friends who love music, but Haruki takes it way beyond the boundaries of sanity.